Many people are surprised at this, but the section of my CV I point to with the most pride is where it lists the honors achieved my trainees. Much as it, I have personally benefited from my involvement with the American Heart Association, it feels even better to be able to help these young investigators. I first became aware of EHA when I came to the United States from China in 1988 and attended the scientific sessions. That got me involved in the Maryland affiliate where I received a postdoctoral fellowship that helped me start my scientific academic career. Then I began to receive other awards from EHA and it just snowballed, a very positive chain reaction that boosted my research career. I'm pretty sure my promotion to professor was because of my EHA Established Investigator Award. The funding was important, but also the prestige. And now that I'm a premier professional member and a fellow, I'm kind of scientific celebrity when I gather with colleagues all over the world. EHA is so well respected and it really opens the door for you. I know when grant applications are being reviewed by other agencies, already having EHA awards, that endorsement puts you right at the top of the list. For a while, I also worked with other uh, professional associations more closely aligned with my specialty. But now I'm very involved with EHA again because they not only offer a depth of information in my specialty, but also give me access to related specialties. I can actually thank my primary counsel's research director for getting me reconnected, which is only feeding since I got him involved in EHA years earlier. My committee work and mentoring are a responsibility and an obligation, but it's also a great opportunity to socialize with colleagues and exchange ideas. I love that scientific sessions is well organized and the advanced knowledge I get there has helped make me someone that others turn to for instruction. I'm always very honored that they ask and glad of the opportunity to give back by serving as a mentor.